I noticed you're wearing an American Lives Matter yes. shirt. What is your message to this audience right now by wearing that t-shirt? What is your intended message? Um, well, I think that we should put Americans above foreigners. Um, you know that the whole point of, you know, the movement like that came with Lives Matter was originally for Black Lives yes, Matter? Yes, I, I, I'm intentionally appropriating it. Yeah. And are you trying to eliminate the movement Black Lives Matter? Are you trying to not bring attention to it? I mean, well, BLM is not exactly a, a movement that I would be associated with, but I believe all lives matter, American lives matter. If you're a black American, Hispanic American, I don't care. So all, all Americans' lives matter. Would you even would you take the time to recognize a group of people that who have been marginalized historically and who are now asking for the same rights, the same um, the same privileges as white people in the society by wearing what, by letting what rights them do white people have that blacks don't? So the issue is, it's not necessarily in written in the law. Oh, so it it's is, like hidden. That's the whole point. That's oh. how marginalizing works. Oh, so it's kind of like, it's like a ghost. You see it one day and you don't. And because you as a white privileged person with money Wait. have never so seen it what, doesn't mean it doesn't What privilege exist. do I as a white person have that a black person doesn't? What can a white person do in America? Bro, that right there, that right, that little comment she made, ooh, I would've, bro, that would've took me to the highest level. Fam. You I, you cannot sit here and tell me what I have as an individual because the color of my skin. How are you going to sit here and say you as a white man have more privileges this and that? Wait, did I did I mishear that? Because I, I maybe I did. But I swore I thought she said you as a white man have more privileges. Let me let, let me just go back real quick. Because you as a white privileged person with money Wait. have you as a white privileged person with money is crazy. And th that's crazy. You don't know me from a can of paint and you say I'm a white person with money. You don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I had to do to get here. You don't know what my parents had to do. And you just say with a, a white person with money, fam. Why do we sit there and we, we, we judge because somebody is a, a, a different race than black? We automatically think that these people are privileged. They have money. They been they was born rich. They daddy and mommy had money. But even if they mommy and daddy had money, do you not know what their mommy and daddy had to do to get to to where they're at? So they that way their kids can grow up having money. Like I mean, in life you gotta work regardless. It don't matter what you do in life. You gotta work. It don't matter your color, your skin. It don't matter, bro. You have to work. You have to work. You feel me? Life is life is hard. It's difficult, especially with Biden in office. It's difficult as heck. We all struggling. We all struggling out here living living check to check. We all trying to figure out a way. You feel me? But if we, even in this generation now, if we gain as much wisdom as possible, and I'm talking to people that's my color, white, black, whatever. I don't care. I don't care what color you are, but this goes for people that are black because I want people to, that are that are African American to understand this. If you work hard now in this generation and you 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 set yourself up to succeed by the time you're 30, 40, whatever age, that way you don't even set yourself up, but you also set your kids up. So if you set your if you set yourself up right here and you say, you know what, I'm gonna have my kids set up right here too. So now you and your kids, y'all set up for life. So when you have kids and everything, you ain't gotta struggle with your kids of them growing up. And when they do get older, now they raise into having money and and big houses and big cars. Like they now they raise into that because of all the hard work you put in at a young age. But no, you know what people like to do in this generation? They like to go to the club, get drunk, get high. You feel me? They like to you feel me? Have sex with every woman that they can find. They wanna have sex with every dude they can find. They wanna buy all the most expensive clothes. And then we wonder by the time we the age of thirty, we gonna be broke, broke, miserable. So work still working at Burger King, flipping the burger. Ain't nothing wrong with that if y'all do work at Burger King, but I'm just saying. I feel like at a certain age, it's like, come on, man, we gotta, we gotta be better. We want, we should want more for ourselves. We shouldn't just want the the bare minimum. We should want more for ourselves. So for you to say that he's a that he's a white man with privilege and he has money is crazy because you don't know Charlie Kirk from a can of paint, bro. You don't know what that man probably been through in his life. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, we gotta do better, bro. Judging a book by his cover is crazy. 
It's crazy. That's like saying a black person that, oh, uh, uh, never mind. I ain't finna say that. That's that's too much. That's too much. I, I'm going too far. Let me just let me just play the video. Never so seen it what, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What what privilege do I as a white person have that a black person doesn't? What can a white person do in America that a black person cannot do? Be specific. Name one thing. So there are so many issues in our society. Name one thing. No, I got a drill you in. Name one thing a white person can do that a black person cannot do. So the issue is racism, okay? You can technically do it, but your life may be put at risk if you are found your, if you find yourself in certain areas where you might not be accepted by your race and then your life might be in So danger. okay, what is racism? There's can you define to me what racism is? Racism, well, I don't have the exact description as it is seen in like AP style or like Wikipedia. Can you just talk in the mic, please? I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry. Racism is the lack of opportunities because of a race, the kind of like putting a person to a side. Um, so can you name a single example in the them? last 20 years where blacks were discriminated on mass, where they've been put aside? Can you give me a specific you example? You can simply talk about police brutality and okay, so over wait. Incar mass incarceration. What percentage of murders do black Americans commit in America? So there you have a point of there is over policing in black communities, wait, no, no, specifically murders. lower I'm, income communities. So wait, blacks commit murders because of police? I'm not talking about murders of police. You're twisting my words. So why do blacks you know commit so many murders? They don't. So they're 13% of the population and they do 55% of the murders in America. So why? There, you're not even looking at the background of it. There is over policing in lower income communities. And There's that... under policing in lower income communities. Number two, you're, you're trying to say that over policing, even if that existed, which it doesn't, leads to the fact that 13% of the U.S. population accounts for 55% of hey, I'm sorry to pause, y'all. I just wanted to, sh like, he's not lying. I'm looking at the stats, bro. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he's not lying, bro. 52, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Actually, he, he was being more justice. It's actually 54%. 54%, bro. That junk is crazy. No, 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 no. It's 52% for murders. Uh, robberies 54 and um everything else is pretty high too and this is this is black african-american this is black african -American. they got other like other races on here too but other races are very low than black african-americans and they don't even f fit the whole entire population like that that's crazy that is crazy i i had to look at it for myself you know you can't go with what everybody say i had to look at it for myself that is wow leads to the fact that 13% of the U.S. population accounts for 55% of the murders? There is a target on people of color's backs, okay? So when a white person sees a person of color... Prove it. There is studies, there is research No, no, give me, give me one there example. Is... Give me one piece of evidence that there's a target on black people's back. In fact, I will submit to you there's the opposite. Black students can get into this college with lower test scores than white students. It's called affirmative action. So now white people are the people who are struggling? No, no, no. But are they no, the marginalized ones? I, I will go back to this, though. Can you name a specific example of what a black person cannot do that a white person can do? And be, again, specific. Anything. I'm talking about, there's, so racism as a whole is not written in the law because that's not allowed anymore. But it still exists. Then give me an example. There, I just told you. You said is police brutality is your example. Why do you think blacks encounter police so much? They commit more crimes. There is and not just like a little bit more. No, there's un and there's also there's, there's under police. And how, how could you say such a thing? We have defunded the police in Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, and largely defunded it. We saw crime rates go up. I also want you to take in mind that when. A whole group is t their opportunities to succeed economically. Let's say they don't get that higher paying job because they chose a white person instead of a black person. That may Bro, bro I'm sorry to pause, but fam, y'all got to stop listening to what everyone else says, bro. Like, I, I, I heard that so many times. A white person, if a white person had more credentials than a black person. Oh, well, obviously, yes. If, if, I, if I was... Personally, me personally, if a if I if a black person came into my office and a white person came into my office, the white man got more credentials than a black man. 
and more experience? Um, hello. I need someone that's going to get my job done. I don't need to, because I, I, cause you got to think about it from a business mindset. Why train somebody to do what somebody else went to school to do and they got experience to do? So, yes, if a white person got more credentials and everything that they got to do and everything they need, I'm going to pick that person. But if we're just talking about a black person coming in, a white person coming in, they both don't got no credentials, they both don't got experiences, I'm not going based off the color of the skin. I'm not going based off that. I'm going off, number one, their appearance. How are they coming to me? Do this black person, is he sagging his pants with his hat caught to the side and he supposed to be in a corporate office and, and is it, same thing with the white man is this white man got a no haircut he's sagging his pants he looking all musty and crusty i'm gonna go off the appearance i'm gonna go off how they speak who who sounds more who sounds more like they know what they're talking about and do, if this black person know what he's talking about and he sounds like he know what he's talking about he's respectful he look at me in my eye when he speaks you like this is what i'm going off i'm not i don't think no company is just Oh no, he's black. Um, white person in my office. Like that's slavery 2.0. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying. This is what they used to do to black people. Mm, I like how he's fit. I, I get him for 200. Like, that, but just put in that aspect of like a white person coming in, a black person coming in. Oh, he's black. No, 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 no. White person, get in my office. I like you. Like, like, come on, man. Let's be real, bro. Let's be logical. That is illegal. You like that person can literally lose their job. That person can. You could take that person to court if you honestly have evidence that he chose you, uh, because you because of the color of your skin. Oh, he didn't choose you because of the color of your skin. You could take that person to court, bro. You can win that case and get you some Muna. You feel me? Get you some money on. I'm just saying, bro, all this nonsense y'all talking about. Like, come on, man. The same thing a white person could do, I could do too. Okay, I could do too. God could give me the strength to do the same thing he would give that white person to do. Like, come on, let's just be real. Let's be logical. Y'all don't know God. If you know your God, and I'm talking about the one and only true God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Okay, that, that's the God I'm talking about, the one and only true God. That's that's what I'm talking about here. You know what I'm saying? When you know God, God could give you the God could give you the strength to do what it is that He calls you to do. Simple as that. He could give you the strength to do what it is that He calls you to do. If He calls you to be the president, He could give you the strength to do that. No one can stop that. The devil may try to throw little darts at you to make you to stop God's plan for your life, but what the devil meant for evil, God could turn to good. So I'm just saying, y'all, y'all gotta be. Come on, man. Let's just be real, bro. This race stuff is... Cut it out. Cut it out. I'm going to finish the video because it only got a few minutes left. And I'll give my rest of my thoughts, bro. We got to cut this junk out, bro. Tell me an, an example of where that happened recently. Wait, that makes an entire community more prone to being lower income. And then that create That is... Wait, what happened? That makes Show me an, an example of their opportunities to succeed economically let's say they don't get that higher paying job because they chose a white person instead of a black person that makes show me an, an example of where that happened recently wait, that makes an entire community more prone to being lower income and then that create that is lower lower income communities are directly related to like more crime activity so yeah, but let me ask you a question what percentage of young blacks have both a mom and a dad raising them I cannot think of a percentage right now to give you. Twenty-five percent. So only one out of four blacks in America have a mom and a dad around. Do you think that is a bigger issue to address <laughs> than racism? Do you think more dads is a better solution or tackling racism, so, which you say you can't even see in our I, laws? How could dads be connected directly? Like how Oh, we, dads are very connected. Dads, what about... Okay, when you have a dad around, you're less likely to be violent as a male, less likely to go and to prison. So explain to me why all the fathers are leaving. Exactly. Why are they leaving? Question for you. Because why are black they women married so, the government and divorced the men that they were so once talk with. About, talk about white people right now. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm a realist, people. not a racist. Why Secondly, <laughs> see, you can, you can come up to the mic and call me a racist in my face. Or are you an intellectual coward and want to shout it from 30 feet away? Dang. Bro, Charlie Kirk don't be caring, fam. That man just be like, he be on go. Like, the, the thought that he just be on go, fam. 
it is funny how it was a woman that shot at racist. It's funny how so he said that the black women are are uh, divorcing the men. I think it was like the black women are divorcing the men. They married the government and divorcing the man or the man that's in the house, whatever. You get the point. You heard what he said, okay? Um, First off, let me say this, okay? And I'm sorry for my hair, y'all. <laughs> I took my hair down. I, I got to wash it and stuff, so forgive me. Uh, But well, let me say this. This whole racist stuff, it, it, it has to go out the window. I, the reason why I react to these videos is because, number one, I enjoy them. I do enjoy people's thoughts about what they, like, I, I enjoy people that are not black try to talk about what's going on in the black community. It's funny because I'm like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. I grew up black. I grew up in the city of Chicago. I am from Chicago. I still live in Chicago. Okay. Do I want to, I do want to leave this town, but I still live in Chicago fam. Okay. And would y'all be talking about black this and black that now? Granted, we all had our different experiences growing up. But me being a black man, me being pulled over by police before, me like like talking to pol like talking to police officers, like come on, bro. I'm just saying, like I know the game. I know the game, and don't get me wrong. There, it, it, it is some people that's out here that are still racist. Okay, it is. It's it's some people out here that's still racist. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna sit here and act like racism just completely zero percent exists that will be so so naive of me you know what i'm saying have i personally dealt with racism i personally have not but i personally know people that have dealt with racism you know what i'm saying so i know for a fact that yes racism still exists but is racism as big as it was do black people have less opportunity still than white people no do 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 can black people not do what a white person can do Black people can do what a white person can do. White people can do what a black person can do. It don't matter the race. It matters on your level of skill, your level of wisdom, and what God calls you to do. If God calls you into a place, go into that place and you better you better sh outshine these folks. But if it's not where God is calling you to do and you get denied for a job, don't look at it like, oh, I got denied because I'm black. Oh, but I see a white person in that, that office. Maybe God didn't place it on your heart to be in that office. Maybe God wants you to do something else. Maybe you wasn't ready for that promotion. Maybe you wasn't ready to be in that office. We never think about this stuff. God is a big God and God, he protects us in so many different ways. But we all might think that, oh, it's racism. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Not everything is race. If you don't get hired for a job, that's not race. Maybe it's because of how you came in there. Maybe it's because they asked you a question and you didn't know how to give them the right response. Like, do we think about this? Like, when I don't get hired for a job, I don't sit there and be like, oh, they ain't hired because I'm black. No, I sit there and I think like, damn, bro, I don't think I answered that question right. Like, she asked me, woo, 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 woo. And I told her that, woo, 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 woo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't think about that. We automatically just assume that... Well, well, I guess it's because I'm black. This is what this is what they do to black folks. Black folks sticks and black folks that. Like, we need to do better as a society, as America, bro. We need to do better. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be seeing so many black people talk about this. I see mostly white folks trying to talk about what's going on in the black community. Talk about what's going on in your community. Okay, like, like what I'm saying is that, like, it's like, bro. I can't speak on what's going on in the white community because guess what? I'm not white and I'm not part of their culture. I'm not part of the white culture. I'm not part of that. You feel me? But right, talking about, it's a video that I'm going to react to. And I don't know. I got to find it again, bro. But it's a it's a really good video. A really good video. I watched half of it and I was like, bro, I got to react to it. But that was like two months ago. And yet I have not reacted to it. So I got to find that video to react to. But it talks about race. It talks about how race doesn't exist. And and honestly, that video is so educational, so good. And it's biblical. You know, I love biblical things. So it's biblical too. So I have to react to that. But man, anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Thank you for stopping by through the podcast. I was thinking about changing the podcast, changing this channel name. But I'm not for sure. So you know what? It is what it is. But I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.